have set up a a Patreon, a Patreon, a Patreon, a Patreon, a Patreon. We have set up a a Patreon. Patreon, Patreon, however you want to say it. A Patreon. We have set up a a Patreon. What that does is that just helps us get things like train ticket, train ticket, train ticket, train tickets, petrol for you, and it helps us get to bigger and better guests. Bigger and better guests. We'll be doing cool little things on there, like nice little giveaways. Giveaways. You can put in your questions, and then we can we can talk to you. Um, so yeah, please go on to www.patreon.com forward slash overrated everything. We are recording. Um, we're here with um, sort of two guests, really. It's the first time we've had kind of two guests on yeah. the show. Yeah. But not really two guests on are the show. Are you referring to your wife that's in the front room? No, I'm referring <laughs> to um, oh, Tim okay. All right. and Tiny Tim. <laughs> oh, right. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, hi, guys. How are you doing? Mate. How's it I'm going? I'm all right. I'm all right. Thanks for coming on, mate. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Yeah, no worries. No worries. <laughs> when, um, when, when Andy said about getting you on, I was buzzing. So, you know, when you just sort of scrolling through your Facebook and it's, some of the videos are fucking brilliant. <laughs> Thank yeah, you brilliant. very much. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, we're allowed to swear? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Brilliant. We, we yeah. literally, yeah, we swear all the time. This is yeah. quality. Um, which, yeah, yeah, obviously, um, if, you, if you've clicked the link, um, we've got tiny Tim Bradbury here, or Tim Bradbury as he's, as he's known by his parents. Um, <laughs> um, obviously, viral sensation. Um, YouTube star, would you say? Yeah. I'd stand-up comedian as well, stand, aren't you? Yeah, I'd stand up above everything else because I'm proper funny. <laughs> <laughs> I can vouch for that as well. I've seen his stand-up um, a fair few times. Tim's a, a, Cheers, a, local, a local lad, local legend. Whereabouts are you from? Are you from Withenshaw? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Scum of the earth, man. Scum of the earth. I like Withenshaw. I like it, yes. Yeah. <laughs> That's, That's what yeah. I mean, yeah. Me and, me and my fiancé, Sham, <laughs> spoke about, like, if we moved away and... One of the places that we said that we would move, well, I said is Sheffield, but then I realised the only reason I like Sheffield so much is because I associate that with going out and getting smashed. <laughs> and I thought, I can't move to a city just on the terms that I love going out and getting smashed. Yeah, um, that's true. But like Manchester, we love it here, but when we visit, you know, and Andy and, and his wife and all as all your friends have become our friends as well. So like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like we we feel really comfortable here. Happens so, a lot. Though. Yeah, I love you, it. You, you come to Manchester, you just start <clears throat> robbing stuff. <laughs> so making it's, friends. It's making friends, <laughs> yeah. cars, happens. Um, yeah, because you've been in like, you've been in our local, which is, is Tim's local yeah, as well. Yeah, I love it in there. It's a good, it's a good night yeah, in the so, bank. Yeah. Yeah. It's all right. Shout out to the Furbank, Simon, if you want to give us all free drinks upon hearing this. You've got this. no chance. As if he would. <laughs> yeah. Mate, he's got to go skiing four times a year because he's going to charge us, isn't he? <laughs> um, so, yeah. So, um, if you've clicked the link, it's it's clear what Tim's subject is, um, which when he told us, uh, which was just last night, me and Tomo were a bit... We, we, well, it's we were fucking crazy, weren't we, to be Yeah, fair. it's brilliant. It's amazing. Um, it, it, it's kids. Which is <laughs> you, mad. you can see his face now <laughs> because one, um, Tim has kids, um, and two, Tim makes a living impersonating a fucking kid. <laughs> yeah, he finds them underrated. So yeah, take overrated. 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 Oh shit, that's that's well, not underrated. the name of the podcast. Yeah, finds underrated them everything. Under, underrated everything. His yeah. new podcast coming soon. <laughs> no. um, yeah, Tim finds uh, finds kids overrated. overrated. Elaborate, mate. They're um. I don't get the craze about wanting a kid. Like, my... <laughs> I don't get it. My son's 18, and it, I love him. Don't you... Of course yeah. I love him. I don't want him to die around like that. But I... <laughs> Oh, that's good. That's, that's, that's nice. Good. Yeah, it's nice. That's yeah. that's evolution. That that's that's yeah. Darwinian fucking. <laughs> like that's all you don't want. I, I, I love him. I do. He, he is my best mate. But would I feel like this if you want it? Would you feel like what? Would you feel like you're missing something? No, that's... you wouldn't. So I mean, you, you won't miss what you've never had. <clears throat> your your lad's eighteen. Have you only got one? No, you've, I've got two. You've got two yeah. kids. So you had you had him quite young as well. Yeah, right? I was nineteen. So he, did you want a... kids then? No, I didn't want kids then. No, no, I don't want kids now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 
I hope, I hope, um, I hope Kieran's not listening to this. <laughs> no, but, but I've got Grace as well. Grace yeah, is... Yeah, Grace, How old's yeah. Grace? Nine. Nine. Yeah, she's... Right. Nine-year-old and an 18-year-old. Yeah. Yeah, sweet. space good, out. Good gap. Good gap. Yeah, space I think that's out. that's yeah. I mean, it's it's important to have at least a couple of years. Otherwise, well, I mean, you're just like like I've got I've got um I I've, I know people who have got a kid who's well. My mum, my mum and dad did it. I, I mean, I've got a, a 32 year old brother, no, a 31 year old brother, a 30 year old brother, a 29 year or a 28 year old brother, and it's like fucking hell. They must have literally popped it out and just. Yeah. Got another one. They didn't have a TV, did they? They didn't have a TV. No, no, no. They yeah. went around in Broke Queensbury. for years. Not, not much to Yeah, and it's just like, so that, like, they literally had like seven or eight years of just raising babies and, and yeah. toddlers. And then as soon as that had sort of, they were sort of five or six, they had me again. So it's like, oh, you've got to start again now. It's, it's nice to have them close together, I guess. But then there is that, like with you, like, so there's what, Kieran's 18, Grace yeah. is nine. Yeah. So there's like good, Eight Ten, years. eight, eight years. Yeah, I can't count. There's, there's, there's years, years between them. There is. Kieran was old enough when Gracie was born to, to, to mind her a little, to move, to move out. out, and he didn't get out. <laughs> <laughs> so, but no, but like that's that's handy, I guess. Like he can, um, he can got, watch. It. He can't be- babysit, her, but you know, you could go make a brew knowing that you could leave Gracie in the living room in a Moses basket, and yeah. Kieran would be fine with that. Like. Yeah, yeah, you know what I mean. It's so not paying though. That, yeah. I mean, well, that's how that's, that's, that's how good young hustlers are. are bought like, like that. I, I remember when I was a kid, mm. I used to find any, literally any way of making a, a couple of quid. I remember my mum used to spend a lot of time in the pub, which I loved. I loved being in the pub playing pool. But if I always remember, if I if there was any blokes talking to me mum. I was straight on it. I was like, yeah, if you want to chat my mum up, like, give me a fiver and I'll just go away and let you do it. <laughs> and I was just out <laughs> pimping my mum out. Yeah. Oh, Sharon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but that, I, I was just always, always a way of like running around the pub trying to make a couple of quid. And even uh, nah, some like, young kid I, in, in the pub the other day, um, he was saying, oh, he's only about five or six. He was like, oh, I'm a good goalkeeper. I'll show you my dives. And I went, this is where you're going wrong, kid. You should be coming up to me and saying, I'm a good goalkeeper. I'll show you my best dive, but I want you to give me a quid. Yeah, and he, said, but, and, and he did his dive and I gave him a quid and I was like you just made a pound that easy next thing he was running around the pub doing it to everyone he must have earned probably 10 quid well I mean you 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 famously fucking asked Shane Meadows for a fiver to audition for his film yeah like, do you know what I mean I like, was always out to make yeah make good luck good luck <laughs> from a very young age I'm, I'm like, still I'm still thinking about you renting your mum out in a pub <laughs> for, for a fiver because yeah, you'll yeah. go away. Yeah, no touching. I mean, <laughs> his, his poor dad's at home with a broken telly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, a broken God. heart. A broken heart <laughs> and a broken uh, TV. Yeah. Oh, God, back in the 90s were grim, weren't they? Yeah, grim has been the worst, yeah. But no, I, I was like, well, you were just saying, the kids <clears throat> should be natural-born hustlers, I think. Yeah? yeah. Do you should. reckon? And like I say, Kieran's been... Well, he's been alive for 18 years and would would my life be any worse or better with him out it with him out of my life has there been any restrictions to have, has ever has there ever been a time where you've gone oh god if I didn't have Kieran we could have done that or yeah every day yeah. <laughs> I love it I remember I Do remember you, just carry on he was getting up for school <clears throat> one day and I think he got to year year 8 and he I stopped getting up. I stopped stopped waking him up. It was like, well, if you're late for school, you're late for school. Now. Oh, right, okay. That's that. I mean, that's a good yeah. life lesson, then, yeah. isn't it? Because he's year eight. What's that about? Twelve. Twelve or something. You should you should know. You should be keeping your own your own time. Clock. Yeah, at twelve. Definitely. Yeah. But then I stopped taking him to school and that. What do you mean, like, like, <laughs> How far like, is your school? Well, wait, you stopped like driving him to school, so like, you like taking him to school. Oh, right, right, okay. I didn't say right. You don't have to go to school anymore because then the <clears> government <throat> said, "Well, if you don't take your kid to school, you're getting fined." So I was obligated to take him to school. Oh, really? They got involved. What? What to? to, to you, you get fined for, for taking not, kids for... on holiday. Oh yeah, 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 yeah shit, yeah, of yeah, course, course. Oh, so you mean you you stopped. Putting him in school, you didn't stop driving him to school. I stopped driving to school. I was saying. So he just stopped going then. on. No, he, he went to school. Ah, right, yeah, 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 yeah. Because yeah. I, I said I don't want to be fined, <laughs> so make sure he goes to school. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? And oh, oh yeah, and your education's important. Yeah, yeah. Which has worked well. out well because he's working in Morrison's. <laughs> <laughs> so he smashed school. But I, I think would would I be any better, worse off <clears throat> now? I I'd, I'd be a lot. Richer, you right? Yeah, because because 
raising kids is is expensive. I remember, isn't I remember it? being in a family planning clinic years and years and years ago, and there was a girl there, obviously pregnant, pregnant, and she was with a mate. And I swear to God, you know when you're over here in conversation, yeah. This girl said, "How far along are you now?" They were friends. Yeah. How far along are you now? She went, oh, about about five five six months." I think she said. She went, "Oh my God!" And she went, "Yeah, and that Norbert Lee thinks it's his." Oh <laughs> my God! And then she said, "The other the other girl said, you 'You going to tell Lee?'" And she went, "Nah, nah, but it's worth the five hundred pounds. Drop the fucker." <laughs> Wow. wow. I've never seen five hundred pounds when my kids I'd have been a grand up yeah. if I knew about this. Where's this come from? What what do you mean five hundred yeah, pounds? You get five hundred quid if uh, for having, it's like having a like a bonus on a game when you're a kid. <laughs> do you know what I mean? It's oh, if you have a baby, it's five hundred quid. What, like, well, where from? What the government yeah, give you five hundred pounds from? If you're signing on Oh, right, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you're not you, working. Yeah. You get like It's like a little starter bonus. Ah right, okay. Because you get like Family allowance and stuff, right? Like we so. we get because we've got um, me and my wife, we've got a a little girl. And you told me she was three yesterday, and she's four. I didn't tell you she was three. He did didn't he? Did he say she was three? My well, wife, my wife's out. watching from afar. I think you should go out with older people. Rather than <laughs> oh my wife, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> but young man. <laughs> um, no, my daughter, my daughter, my daughter turned four like two weeks ago, so. Sometimes I might say three. You yeah. know, it's like when you well, turn. She's not three anymore. It's like when you cheat. When you when you, remember, like when you're in school and uh, you go no, back after. No, I was. No. <laughs> you know when you go back after Christmas and you still write. You still write the uh, yeah last year's date. It's kind of like that with your kid's age. Sometimes you go, oh, she's um she's three. Oh no, sorry, she just turned. I do that with my age. I'm, I'm like, yeah, I'm 27. Mm-hmm. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. I'm 28. I'm, I'm, I'm 18. I mean, always. Yeah. <laughs> I'm three, nearly six. <laughs> For some reason, when people ask me how old I am, I say 27, even though I'm 26. Are you just putting a year I'm on? I'm putting a year on. It makes yeah. you more distinguished. Yeah, I don't know why I do that. Distinguished. Small, I'm, I'm, I'm small. actually 27. Yeah. <laughs> just older. Yeah. You, um, don't, you don't even look like... <clears throat> 26. I know, I'm like Benjamin Button, aren't I? Just wow, weird. you're going in reverse. <laughs> <laughs> God. Dead ugly kid when I was me. I remember one of all my mates keep saying to me all the time, they go, looking like a fine wine you are. Like, he was ugly when he was a kid, but now, like, I suppose with filters was... and stuff, which is what we were saying just a minute ago, <laughs> Tim, with filters and things like that, you can sort of go from a, like a mild four out of ten to a good strong seven. I you, think, you, yeah. you like, when you, because I did a, I did a Q&A the other day, um, and they were asking about, like, obviously the, the film and that. Um, and I can't believe you're still clinging on to this. <laughs> dickhead. And one of, the years, one of the Let questions, one of the questions was like, <laughs> <laughs> one of the <laughs> seen it. <laughs> one of the questions was, um, did it feel weird for uh, to watch the scene of Sean and Smell? kissing you know the whole will you fuck my tits Sean yeah uh, did that feel weird to watch and I was like no why and they were like well he was he was a kid and I was like oh yeah no he looks like a because you because you I looked 11, so 12. much you, 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 how old were you in the film about 13, 13 14, you yeah. looked about 9 like you did look yeah. young man you look like a bit when I watch you back now obviously yeah um, which I do every night because I can't yeah. let go let um, it go <laughs> <laughs> yeah no the same right, Elsa <laughs> um, I did um, I did the same I did, went to a Q&A for the BFI and I've not watched it for about 7 years and uh, maybe even more and I watched it and I was literally watching it like wow like yeah I was like a baby yeah you, yeah that's what I mean so like so like you literally I remember just coming down once and it was like oh look there's a bloke there who yeah. vaguely looks like that kid out of that film yeah, yeah. Um, by the way this isn't about us is it well you know <laughs> fuck, uh, Tim just, yeah, just go mate take us to a battle for 40 minutes <laughs> so both of you just let it go <laughs> <laughs> kid, like going back to what we were talking about like kids kids are expensive like I, like ridiculous you hear there's, there's figures out there I know the Simpsons famously put it in the titles don't you, did you know that when um, Maggie Simpson, you know the titles of The Simpsons? Right. When they scan Maggie, oh, yeah. um, on the till it flashes up dead quick yeah. how much it costs to raise a child in America that year. Every season changes as well. So like, if you go back to the first season in like 1989, no it'll flash up and it's like... 30 quid. Yeah, 30 <laughs> quid. <laughs> raise yourself. Um, and, and obviously now it's it's probably extortionate, but... Yeah, man. Like I didn't, I didn't know that. I'd yeah, on the fun, fun little fact there for you. Yeah, but no, yeah so kids every are... day is a school day. Isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, like because because obviously, like I say our, our little girl's four, and 
Um, Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> and like, when when the firstborn, it's not that bad because people want to help, don't they? Like mm. parents and that buy you stuff and. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know things like I can't like wait that. till I have kids my dad's going to go nah mate <laughs> nah it's your mess you can fucking pay for it you're not getting nothing from me it's alright dad I'm used to having nothing from you you never fix, listening you never yeah, fixed my asshole. fucking telly when you was a kid so you couldn't yeah. yeah. no one helped me <laughs> that's what it's been nah no one helped me it's proper old school my dad I'm used to having is. nothing off your dad yeah. you'll fit well in with him shut my no because he knows his dad <laughs> Just about. He's, he claims he's my dad. I'm not. Don't show off, mate. <laughs> All right. Yeah. You can, your kid's just moved in around the corner. He's got a daddy. Reckons. <laughs> but then, but, but then, go, like you say, like like they are expensive. Kind of at first, people help you out, and then you know that the thing that you need to do for the first three or four years is just feed them and yeah. that. Like they're like plants, aren't they? They are good. You water them. You change them every now and then. You don't change plants. So why don't you just? Them. So why don't you go and buy a plant? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? I don't. I mean, I less hassle, less hassle, less hassle. Absolutely, yeah. Yeah. a bit of water. <clears throat> yeah, bit That's of sun, a bit of sunshine. Yeah, I, but... I'm in. So I, like, I'm in the perfect position. Like me and my fiance, we've been together now for eight, years, eight, yeah, eight and a half years. <laughs> um, and we've never. We, I mean, we've thought about kids and we spoke about it, but we want to wait now. Like we're too selfish in our own ways. Like we love going, going on holiday, like going to Thailand for a couple mm. of weeks, and then we love going away for the weekends. I work away a lot so Charlotte can come come with me and we, we love going out a bit and just going to the cinema because mm. we can't just sit at home. So we think that if we had kids... Because their telly's broke. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the last telly broke, yeah, though. Yeah. Sorry, go on. Not buying another one. <laughs> oh, God. Um, yeah, and we, yeah, we're just sort of setting our own selfish ways but I said, we're, we're coming up to... I'm 26 now, not 27. Um, and it, like it's probably another three, two or three years we're going to have to have them otherwise it's going to be you're going to have to it's going to be a bit late <laughs> see that's the thing you're saying that you've, you, you're going to have to have kids. I don't want to be sat when I'm old I don't want to be on my yeah. own I don't yeah. want to not have kids there I don't want to not have people there who care about because my mates are going to go off and, and it's slowly happening now like they're still really good mates and we love them to bits but stay sort of go off and do their own little things because they're raising the family yeah. but, you... but then when you're older like if I pass away or touch wood Shah passes away do you mean if? You got him. Well, yeah, of course. But then one of us <laughs> are going to be on our own. It's like, it. I don't like the idea of Charlotte sat on her own or me <clears> sat on my own. No. Get a dog. Get a dog. Dogs, yeah, dogs don't live that long, though. Yeah, and they're fucking annoying dogs, aren't they? No. You've well, not got I, kids. I was trying to watch the telly last night. <laughs> You've not got kids. Yeah. I was trying to watch the telly last night and your two dogs were annoying me. They so. were annoying. Um, but so, no, because they're not your dogs, you can't say, fucking get in the garden. <laughs> you just got to deal with it. <laughs> so have you, did you... Did you did, firstly, did you grow up wanting kids no. as, when you were younger? No. Was it? Are you from a big family? No, there's me, my brother, and two sisters. So that's pretty big in today's standards, right? That's in four, today's four standards, kids. yeah, like yeah, normally. But back in the day, we've only got a small family because you didn't get five hundred quid a kid. Do you know yep. what I mean? There you go. Did you get your starter bonus? Did you don't you get, get your starter, starter bonus. bonus <laughs> you know what I mean? But I grew up never really thinking. Oh, I definitely want kids when I'm older. Yeah. I grew up thinking <clears throat> I can't wait to spend money. <laughs> on myself Be- and that's d- that, that is what's taken away now that's what's lost what your own time society has got you thinking you've got to have a kid y- yeah I mean there's a lot of there's a lot yeah. of um, Facebook because po- I'm I'm completely like I grew up I always wanted to have kids from being a very very I used to play with dolls I'll admit that like, on the podcast <laughs> Like when I was a kid, <laughs> when I was a kid, I used to, um, I used to, I, I'd like most, most of my cousins when I was very young were like girls, so I was surrounded by a lot Are of girls. Are you allowed to say that? And, yeah, um, say whatever the fuck you want, mate. Yes. Gay? It's a yeah. podcast. <laughs> um, yeah, I've got a gay brother, I'm allowed. I do. <laughs> Gender neutral? <laughs> <laughs> I do all the editing. Um, <laughs> and I, yeah, um, so yeah, um, I, 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 so I grew up with predominantly kind of girl cousins and, 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 and a lot of female sort of influence around me so so yeah I, I i used to play with dolls when i was a kid and i remember being young and like my mum had me quite young she was 18 when she had me and i always remembered like i want to have a kid when i'm 18 so for what you said like i was like i want to Could have i've enjoyed the the and yeah because you were 19 when you had when you yeah. had Karen. so i oh, enjoyed i was 24 when yeah. we had phoebe yeah so i'm getting reassurance off my wife um and well, I didn't have her. 
you had it, didn't you, babes? I've just supported you through it. Um, Bollocks, you're in <coughs> Sheffield getting pissed with most of And that's not even a lie. It is a lie. <laughs> it's genuinely not. Uh, we were filming when, when Emily was, yeah. when Emily was um, ready to just go into labour. Just could have this Jager bomb and I'll come. <laughs> I, I, no, I made it home. Baby waited for me. I made it home. Um, yeah, so anyway, so I remember always thinking, I want a kid when I'm 18 because I've enjoyed the fact that my mum, as she's been a parent, she's been a very good parent, but she's also been a mate. And that's mm. I put that down to the fact yeah. that there's only 18 years difference between me and my mum. Do you yeah. know what I mean? My mum was growing up while I was growing up. Do you know what I mean? Like I couldn't imagine now having a kid at 24. Um, I am thankful that I didn't have a kid at 18 yeah, because yeah, yeah. I got to grow up. Like you say, I got to grow up and do stuff that yeah, yeah. I couldn't have done. But then I don't know for me, man, like I think like we were talking about this last night with Tomo when, when you, when you told us your subject and um, you were saying about you and like you just said then, you know, you and you and Charlotte um, talk about having kids, but you just want to do stuff before that, like travel and that. And I yeah. think like, I, I, I get more excited now thinking about me, my wife going traveling with our little one. Because yeah, I think, but oh, I mean, imagine the things that she can see and yeah, do. Yeah, but if you go to Amsterdam, there's certain <clears throat> things she can't watch. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, there's Thailand places like You that. can't go ping pong show, isn't it? So. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, obviously, there's certain there. places. Dad, there, what's she doing for that, Mark? <laughs> <laughs> but, no, like, like... Give me a fire and I'll tell you. <laughs> <laughs> no, but like you say, there's, 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 there's certain, you know, like like... We went on our honeymoon to America uh, after we got married and we, we did like a little tour of the States and I, we, we debated at quite some length about taking Phoebe with us, our little girl with us. On your honeymoon? On our honeymoon. Because yeah, yeah. we were like, we're going into America. Like one of the places that we went was California. Mm. We, when me and em, Emily first got together, we went to um, Disney World yeah. and um, we, we, we loved Disney and we, we said, we'll go, to, we'll go to the original Disneyland in California like as part of our honeymoon. And then we were like, well, we can't really go there without taking our little time. She was two. It was like, that's a bit tight, that. See, but then we were like, she but then you didn't have kids, you'd have just done that and oh, not yeah. felt guilt. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. But, How can you feel guilt from like, your own kids? Like, yeah. Yeah, it is a strange feeling. In the end, we we, we read quite a few. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, no, in the end, we read quite a few sort of. Um, we had like wedding magazines and stuff, and, and a lot of them were saying, "Look, it's, it's your, if you've got kids and it's your honeymoon, like it's the last time you're going to ever get time to spend just you two. Take it as that. Don't feel guilty." And you know, we did. Mm. We we made sure she went away with my mum on a little holiday and I went know, and stayed with, with Emily's mum and that. So she had a nice little time anyway. And she was only two, so she wouldn't remember much of it. But it, it's <laughs> yeah, you're right. It's, it's said it's, in a magazine <clears> that it's going to be the last time that you ever get to spend time to spend together, just you two. On on a holiday. I don't know if that's... Is it, that, you could, I mean... You can go you on... Can I mean, go yeah. on holiday still, I suppose. I've always, like... It says it in a magazine, baby. Can't go. Yeah, can't, you go. can't do it. Can't go. <laughs> um, no, I mean, what, what, what do you think about that? Because, like, I, I always grew up... Like, my mum was very against, like, if, if there was a family over the road who the mum and dad went on holiday and left the kids, my mum would be, like, disgusted in them. If they if they get into squee if they can get another one in with the kid, I think that's all right. I think as parents, like you say, you're so sort of when you have kids, that's what your life becomes. Mm. So I think you are entitled to have even just four or five days if you want yeah. to fly to Spain. Yeah, yeah. And and then if you can get another week in with the kids, maybe not even abroad. You know, kids can still have fun if you take them to. Cornwall or Skeggy. We or, love a no. we love a Butlins or yeah Butlins yeah. If you can get something with the kids as yeah. well, I think that's all right. Haven, Haven Havens are good. I, I went to for, for every year when I was a kid. I went to um, Pathelli <coughs> in Wales. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. When it was a Butlins, Butlins Pathelli used to have a roller coaster there, and it's called the Boomerang. And my dad was saying, "Go on, go on it, go on it." And I was, I don't know, nine or ten. And it was a proper upside downy, well eye boomerang roller coaster. Yeah. It, so it went one way, and then and it, it, did it go backwards. And it went backwards. So it was it one that went up like this? So it went up like that, and then it did a loop, and then and then and then went back up and again. then backwards. Yeah, I think they had that at Pleasure Island where I used to live. I, I, I didn't live at Pleasure Island. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I still live. You did because the telly was broke. <laughs> you keep walking into the telly trap. Yeah. <laughs> My dad was saying, "Go on, go on it, go on it. You, you're not. We're not going to be back again." 
But then we went back. Every year? Every year. Yeah. And yeah. every time my dad would be saying, go on, go on it, go on it, go on it. But I was young, do you know what I mean? And I remember going in it the first time and I, I cried. Oh, I, wow. I cried. So I didn't think they were going to let me off this ride. I hated it, but I didn't think they were going to let me off. So what, you'd have to go again and So again. I'd have to go again and again and again and again. And I thought my dad had said to the, the bloke who was operating it, will you just keep him on there while I go to the pub? <laughs> right, I genuinely thought that's what was going to happen because I couldn't get off. I was screaming, Dad, trying, <laughs> trying to get the thing off me. I was screaming, crying. And I could see my dad, he was like at the fence waiting for me to come off and he was doubled over, crying, laughing. <laughs> <laughs> so then there was a little bit of me that thought, well, he's not going pub. But then there was a little bit of me that thought, you bad prick, why are you laughing? <laughs> I'm a kid trapped on a ride. Maybe your subject and stems back to yeah. To maybe there's some deep, deep, uh, deep. St- so, yeah. thanks for this therapy lesson. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this is uh, this has been really helpful. It's, uh, it's <laughs> good to talk. It's yeah. good to talk. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna have to leave. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I need to go and have a word with my dad. <laughs> <laughs> Just a cuddle. Just have a cuddle, Dad. Did you eat me? <laughs> did you leave? Did you leave me on that roller coaster to, to go to the pub to get Tomo's mum? <laughs> It's been 25 years. <laughs> I know. God, I, I, I genuinely, I thought he hated me. I thought he hated me. And I thought I'm the bane of his life. Do you know what I mean? With things like that, because I, and if you haven't um, ever um, gone and seen Tim's stand-up live, you, you definitely should. He's, he's hilarious. Most of your stand-up set mm. is you talking about winding up your kids. Yeah. Yeah. Is that where that is that? Do you think your dad doing that to you is that something that he's passed on? I don't know. I've never really thought about it till now. <laughs> definitely need a chat with him. Um, <laughs> I, I just think if you've got kids, yeah, then then yeah, you should have fun with them. Hundred percent. Oh yeah, hundred percent. You, you've yeah. got to. <clears throat> I hate these people that you, you go on Facebook and. You see, moaning about the kids. Oh my god! Yeah, really want to go out tonight, but I can't get a babysitter. Yeah, why, why have you even breeded? Do you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, you've not. There's people that can't have kids. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And then you've got people that are just popping them out for five hundred quid. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and, and people who, like you say, who who have them and don't don't take notice of them yeah. and stuff like it's, that. Like I just don't understand that. It's it. I've always said as when I found out that. Kieran was going to be born. I, I, I was I, I was horrible when I was a kid. I was in the wrong group. I was just a nasty piece of work. Oh, okay. Yeah. Surprises you, me. You wouldn't know now. Um, I mean, you are from Ben Chill. So yeah. I, I, yeah, I, did, I don't... Believe... <laughs> Selling stuff. Yeah. Should... That's you not being able to walk around Ben Chill no more. <laughs> <I> saw... <laughs> There's that clip from that podcast. Get him. <laughs> um, <it's, clears> I just think if you've got a kid, then you should be the best person that you can be. Yeah. You need to be a positive you've got, to, you've got to be, of course you have. But then I think, if I didn't have kids, would I just be an horrible, miserable person? Mm. Exactly. I mean, yeah. I mean, yeah, because they do... It took me to become a dad to change my life. So oh, I, that's nice. So I can't, I can't say that I completely hate Karen because... I, you don't, man. You like saying, yeah, you, yeah, you don't com- hate him. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, go on. I, I, I love him. I love yeah, him. Of course. I love him. Of course, I love him. He's my best mate. Do you know what I mean? Is yeah. I think he, he does nothing. He, he do pay rent. He works at Morrison's. He does work. I mean, at I bet Morrison's. he works down hard. And he doesn't pay rent. I don't get any child benefit. I don't get any family tax credit. Does he so tidy his own bedroom? No. Because I'm 26 <laughs> He now. serves no purpose to me now. <laughs> he's, just, he's obsolete. He's just it? there now. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. He's just an, he's just a, an entity. And it, as well as that, you're, you're a little bit older than me. So you're of a generation, I guess, where, by the sounds of it as well, you turn 18, you get a job, you move out. Yeah. Because you could. Yeah. Because, you know, you, you could go and uh, move out and stuff. Yeah. And I didn't want to be left on a roller coaster by my dad. Yeah. <laughs> Sick of Tormented it. by dad. <laughs> but, like, now, kids are the generation of, of, of your caring and that. 
typically now live with the parents until like late twenties. <laughs> Um, you know, even my, I, I, I'm just not gonna go. <laughs> <laughs> I've got mates that are like, yeah. you know, near enough thirty that still will live with the parents and no. stuff, and, and it's cool. Like, you know. <laughs> Absolutely, um, no, 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 no. Is that is that something that obviously worries you? Yeah, of course it does. <laughs> yeah. I know you were saying before that about like going in a home and not having anyone there. That I'm in a home, my home, <laughs> it's mine. I want it back to be mine, not a house share. Yeah. It's because <laughs> yeah. yeah, I suppose when you get to 18, 19, and I did it, you get to that point where you you earn your money, you get home, and all you want to do is you want to be out on the piss, yeah. and, and you yeah. bring in bring in beards back and that, and you're like, like my dad always used to say, Tom, Tomo, it's not a hotel. Yeah, this is yeah. not the ibis. You don't. You know, <laughs> like, I um I I genuinely like because because my mum um I I moved out properly about twenty one. So it's, it's fairly young, um, mm. 21, 22. Um, but yeah, like 18, 19, 20, like I lived at my mum's and... We had some obviously pies at your mum's, we? did, we? yeah. <laughs> and I think That's obviously with our... Yeah. <laughs> I didn't really know you then. Um, obviously <laughs> with big. our... Um, Trapped on a roller coaster. With our job, <laughs> with our job, like we, we, we're away quite a lot, but then we're home a lot. Yeah. And like with, speak with, for yourself. With, I mean, I'm working, mate. Well, yeah, <laughs> um, I've not got a bloody biffer. But you know, so like I'm like you say, I literally used to sit on the set all day, like playing Call of Duty and that. And I think like my dad used to kind of work like nights back then, mm. and like it, it was his house. Like he couldn't come and sit down in the living room and like watch telly because mm. I would take it. But my kind of thing was my house as well. And like looking back, like now it's like it's like it's it, not like I was living there rent free. Like I was taking the. The pits, yeah. really. Well, Kieran, Kieran, <clears throat> Kieran up here, Ren, which I do definitely need to have that chat about. Yeah. Um, but he's on a weekend. He'll say, "Can a couple of the lads come around?" Yeah. So you think a couple, two, right? Yeah. And then he brings his class. <laughs> school, they're all in teacher as well T- teacher and everything <laughs> that weird one that stands with a big teacher like hello Mr Stevens how's it going <laughs> Mrs Stevens Mrs Stevens <laughs> with a tash with a tash yeah. um, but no like you're saying it's it, it's my house do you know what yeah. I mean? If, 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 but it's not yours. I don't, I don't, I don't mind you having your mates around. I don't mind you having your mates around. Yeah. Clean up after yourself in the morning. Yeah. You know, do you know what I mean? Yeah. I'm getting up. That's one thing that my dad always enforced to me is if you have people around, like just clean up after yourself. Mm. And it's just about a respect thing, isn't it? But I think that'll come with age. Like you sort of, you don't really have the respect that you should have for your parents because mm. you, you're just hell bent on thinking that they, they're just out to ruin your life. Like, and, and it's not they're out for your best interest, i.e., Paying rent to get you ready for real life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cleaning up after yourself. So when you yeah. move in, you don't live like my fiance Charlotte, who never ever tidies up ever, ever. Uh, it's... Move out. <laughs> <laughs> Charlotte, he'll be paying rent. <laughs> I'm gonna have a spare room in about an hour. So <laughs> <laughs> she needs. To she wants to move and... to Wivenshaw. Yeah. We're gonna go and have a chat with the lad. Um, no, um, because again, like an important thing with that is like because we we found it recently like. Like I say, our, our little girl's just um, just started nursery. Yeah, mm. uh, the past sort of. And like, she's now paying rent. That month ago. <laughs> no, but like you, um, yeah, you're earning, you're working now. But technically, <laughs> sell sell your drawings. Don't bring them home. Yeah. Sell them. Be an artist. Yeah. Um, but no, like <laughs> we. I I genuinely like never really thought over the past three years that having a child has changed my life like what day to day massively, mm. but then. Her going to nursery five days a week, six hours a day now, I've got I've got time back. Yeah. I'm sat doing stuff and like it's it's mint. I like it's, it's, it's nice. It's like wow, I can you know, cause 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 when 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 they're that young and stuff and, and, and obviously like again, we're luckily we're lucky enough to spend quite a lot of time. I'm lucky enough to spend quite a lot of time with my kid. Mm. You'll be the same, I guess, and, and, and you're the same now. Um, in 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 our careers, that we we have quite a lot of time to to to, mm. to do what we want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I spend a lot of time with her, and it's mint. I love it, but I'm also now enjoying having like my kind of time yeah. off. Mm. And I think for the first few years nice. they are very time consuming. Aren't they? <clears throat> very, very. Yeah, and, yeah. And your house just stinks of poo. <laughs> they just. Because you're forever changing nappies. Yeah, there's that there's that period as well, isn't there, where, and like, it's just... See, this is... It's either sick or poo. Yeah, there's snot, a lot of I, can, I can't deal with snot. I can deal with poo. Not got a problem with that. But snot 
Uh, yeah, it's it just needs it. to stay where it where it is. <laughs> stay in the nose. You know what I mean? And no, I don't think that. That's one thing for me. Like nappers and that. I don't think I can. Right. You know when you you, know you, when you get you get. I mean, it's used to it when very I have a big, big night out and I've got to change my own nappers. <laughs> well, you know when you go to the toilet and you've not got enough toilet roll and you wipe in your bum and your finger slips through. Oh, that's happened to all of us, right? Yeah, mm, yeah. It's never happened to me that you're a liar. <laughs> I know. I swear to God, I, I tell you, I promise you. I bet it's happened to Emily. Right? Yeah, she's nodding. <laughs> <laughs> so what I'm saying is, it, that's happened. Do you know what I mean? Your fingers go through the toilet, you're thinking, that's it, my life's over. When you've got a kid and you're wiping its bum mm. and it's just full of poo. Oh, is it one of them? Like, you, oh, look. And you get a baby wipe and you're wiping its bum and your knuckle yeah. just, just grazes yeah. through yeah. a bit of poo. Hanging, right? hanging. I don't like it when it happens to me, so why am I going to put up with it while I'm wiping. Yeah. yeah. Basically, it's another human's bum, right? Yeah. Whichever yeah. way you put it, you wipe in another human's bum. Yeah, yeah. I didn't sign up for that. <laughs> not at all. We, uh, not at all. See, I... Go on. Oh, yeah, I, I love... <clears throat> I've got nieces and nephews and a, a, a small brother. Um, I say small, he's nearly as tall as me. He's five, I think. <laughs> um, and it, it, like, it's perfect when we can pick him up like I picked them all up. Uh, I've got my my niece Taylor, my nephew um, Mason, and my little brother Zach. And we like we we take them swimming. And whenever something goes wrong, I can like yeah, I finish now. You can just have them back. Yeah, it's, 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 yeah, yeah that's I nice. I love I love having other people's children over. I, I, I don't mean that sound proper word. I mean like family. <laughs> I don't mean someone walking Just past. anyone. Yeah. Yeah. Excuse me, can I borrow that small child, that small yeah. human you've got there? While you're going to the shop, drop them in. I've um, got sweets. Oh. <laughs> I've got puppies in the boot. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't mind having other, other, other like me, my nephews and, and my nieces, I don't mind because I can always give them back. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I, that's not a problem, but when, you, when you've got wah, 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 yeah. Two o'clock in the morning, four o'clock in the morning, six o'clock in the morning, kill me. And, <laughs> yeah, I mean, I mean we, we were quite lucky. We didn't we didn't have a, a lot of that. First two weeks, Phoebe was a bit cryy. If I night, could but then guarantee that I wouldn't have a proper whingy baby, yeah. sign me up all yeah. day, definitely. But it's the, it's it's the tired, noise that it? goes through it's, me. Yeah. Uh, well, I've just been speaking to, to Andy's wife. There's a series on, on at the minute called The Cry. And it's, I think it's all about, I'm not, I've only watched the first episode, but it's basically like the, the woman texts a, the man and the woman, they've got a newborn baby, it's probably a couple of months, and they fly over to Australia right. with a newborn, and for 20 hours it's crying. Uh, and we were saying, like, people on the flight start getting pissy with her, and it's like, at the end of the day, you can't help. You can't help. You can't help it. I'd be, but then I'd be one of them that I'd sit there and I'd think it. I'd think, oh, can you shut up. I wish this but I would never make it, I'd never make it down <laughs> on me. <laughs> what did he say? I wish this wind would go down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it's one of them that you'd never let it know. I'd but pay the pilot to let me just sit in his room for it 20 is, hours. Yeah, in his cockpit room. Let me in. Yeah, no, right. Now it's going to happen, mate. He just yeah. made 100 quid. <laughs> Um, yeah, I mean, like you say, I, I've been there, not 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 as far as Australia in that, and um, taking 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 our little and on holiday, and I'm sure you've probably done it this, yourself, and you do feel, or when when you go somewhere and the the crying like a supermarket, yeah. you know when you're in a supermarket and you see like um, a kid being dead whinger, yeah. and you see the parents like shut up, and yeah. you think bloody hell, mm. yeah, but sometimes like I've, I've you know I've been there before, like we we we're quite you know with Phoebe like we don't really we shout really but we you know we 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 try and kind of teach her right from wrong and stuff like that and you know we're, we're quite liberal with her and stuff but you know sometimes like when constantly whinging like just, just mm. be quiet stop whinging please do yeah. you know what I mean and, yeah. and you can see why some parents will you know lose just, lose the right yeah yeah yeah, see, yeah yeah do you know how you prevent that Go on. Don't have kids. It's, it's, it's that Super easy. Pot Rather con, than being con, this is if, if Jorex want to sponsor this episode, then that would be amazing. And this, this is brought is... to you by Trojan. <laughs> Extra small, obviously, like for all three of us. Three feet up. I'm Mathis. <laughs> We're about half an hour probably summer in, and he's done it. There we go. Um, um, no, no, it, I'm, not, I'm not saying that I, I hate my kids I'm not no. saying that at all no. but all this anger 
that I've got for him could have been prevented. <laughs> it could have been. <laughs> and and because because a lot of, like we we we, we nearly touched on it earlier. Like a lot of um, there's a lot of sort of posts out there and, and stuff in the media now about people who openly don't want children mm. getting immediately judged like yeah. it's a bad thing and you know i i personally on a personal level because mm. like i say i've always wanted kids i cannot understand how some people just don't want kids it's weird it's yeah. so alien to me that you wouldn't want to procreate you wouldn't want to see a little bit of yourself in another human and you know experience the joys of, of raising a family and stuff like that. so alien to me mm. but i'd never judge anyone for not doing yeah, it fair dude we live in a world that. that's fucking massively overpopulated as well do you know what yeah. i mean like i do get that and it's it's like you were saying being in a supermarket and you and you're shouting at your kids it's that's 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 just some people's behaviour. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? It, it might not be a kid. You might be walking your dog and your dog runs off and you're shouting at it. Do you know what I mean? That's some people's behaviour. I remember being in, and you were saying a supermarket, I remember being in a supermarket and, and Kieran was being proper whinger. But I've never, I've never, ever, ever, ever had to shout. Yeah, yeah, same, really. Really. that's what I'm saying, yeah. Never, but, I'd, I'd, but like you, I'd never judge someone for shouting at no. a kid. If they hit them... Oh, yeah, 100%. Yeah. I'm not yeah. a fan of that. I mean, I grew up in a generation of, you know, like, my uh, my gran had a fucking good shot with a slipper. <laughs> oh, God, she, she should have gone on bullseye. She'd have, she'd have, got, she'd have got the speedboat. Like, honestly... She, she wouldn't have won it because the slipper wouldn't stick in the board. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't throw darts, yeah, just slippers. But no, but, like, you know, like, I'm, I'm just, like, that kind of... A, probably, hopefully, the last generation where... You know, you get you get a clout off your off yeah. your gran or, yeah. or, or you know off off of your mum had time and that. But mm. um, did it did it teach me right it from wrong? When they're old and fragile, yeah. And you put it in the, in the in the old people's home, you walk, walk in with a slip and go ah. Yeah. 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 Forty five years ago, I've got you head. now. Yeah, but like yeah, you know, vulnerable now. It's fresh. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, Come on, Doris. Yeah. It's Come like on. when 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 you used to. When you were, when you knew you were gonna to get told off, yeah, and you get in from playing out, and you say you smashed a window in the greenhouse, yeah, yeah, and you yeah. go out for three weeks, and then when you <laughs> <laughs> no, but when you go out, and you, you've done something wrong, you know you're gonna come home, you're gonna get shouted at, yeah. Gone are the days where your dad would be shouting at you, and gradually he's taking off his belt. At See, I never had that, but my dad had that, and that's terrifying, isn't oh. it? But like, God, did it, 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 I remember being in school and having. A, Blackboard rubber thrown at me. Jesus. You can't have that now. No, no, no. And rightly so, man. Like, it's, it's, it is wrong. Did it teach us right from wrong? Probably. Definitely. Yeah, it it does, is, you'll but, only do but, it once if you get a smack around the ear off. But, yeah. but does, yeah, you might, only, you know, you might only have to do it once and, it, and it's an instant teaching right from wrong. Does it teach you right from wrong? Yes, probably. But does, is me sitting down and having a word with, like, my daughter mm. do the same thing? Yeah. I think Absolutely. we live in a day and age where you It might take a few times. You know what I mean? Don't do that. She'll do it again. Yeah. Don't do that. And, you know, what I do... I'll, I'll take her to... Cold <laughs> <laughs> DDT. I'll take, Smash. <laughs> I'll take her to one side and I'll, 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 I think I'll explain to her why you we, shouldn't We live in that. a generation now where you've got to teach kids from a very young age <clears> respect. Mm. And that's something that, I, that I've always... I, I've always checked people how I want to be treated from a young age. Mm. Yeah. And I think even when I'm with my little brother, like I, it, if he's kicking off, I just take him aside and I go, "Look, mate, I said yeah, you can't yeah, yeah, just yeah. do that. Like it don't. <clears throat> I said it don't work like that. Whether your mummy might let you get away or whatever, when you were me, you kick off all you want. Yeah, I'll just give you a dead leg. I don't mind. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I, I, I get it. Like when my nephew comes round, my nephew Luca, I, I love him, but people don't know. So you love him, but not your own kids. No, I, I do love my kids. I don't, <laughs> This is. Can we start again? <laughs> I do love my kids. I do love my kids. But when when my nephew Luca comes round, he's I, I love him. He's yeah. we have such a laugh. He's he's like a, another one of my best mates. Yeah. But he can go back to his mum. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But when he's at mine, if you're at my house, my rules. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So if I'm if I'm cooking tea and your mum said you need tea, yeah, you're you you. You're eating what we're eating. Yeah, I'm not going to make a separate meal. Yeah, I can't get down with that. Yeah, yeah. My little nephew does the same. No, my my no. sister will go, 
Oh, Mine, he, he mommy won't... said. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but guess what, mate? <laughs> mommy's not here. Yeah. yeah, but my, my sister. Oh, Get in that cupboard. He won't. He won't. <laughs> he won't eat that. He does here. Yeah. yeah. Oh, he won't. He, oh, he'll go mad if you give him a pink plate. I've only got pink it's plates. It's kids testing patience. It is. Because it, it is. Yeah, Zach, yeah. Zach does it. He whenever can play whenever it. I, yeah. I've been round, <clears throat> my little brother, I've been round at my stepmom's with him and he will push her to... Mm. to but, you know, she, she'll never lose a rag. She's pretty, she did a great job of raising raising me from a young age and Zach. Um, um, but when he's, when he's round at my house, he knows for a fact, if I say to him, you're not having your iPad before you go to bed, mate. I said, you, you can have yeah. 20 minutes on your iPad here. We'll yeah, chill. Yeah, yeah. Then we'll go upstairs, you brush your tooth, and then you can get into bed. Brush your tooth. Brush your tooth. Just the one. Is that, is that, yeah, is that running the family? Yeah, yeah, yeah just from me. Yeah. He's going to fit well in with Usher as well. <laughs> just yeah. the yeah. one tooth. But yeah, what I'm saying, yeah, like, yeah. He'll, he'll do as he's told, and he'll get in bed. And, yeah, yeah. you know, he's, he's mardy about it, he's miserable about it, but he just, he'll do it. Yeah. Yeah. That, that's it. If, you, if, if you're told to do something, you do it. It's, do yeah. I mean? it's, and it's, it's patience as well, like, my again going back to like my little sister, like her little boy, he's sort of six months or thereby five six months older than Phoebe, mm. and like he's he's quite a mardy boy, and and like he won't sleep in his own bed. He still has a dummy, little things like that. And, and my my little sister sometimes will go, oh Phoebe's dead good, and and I'm like, it's because we've persevered through yeah, stuff yeah. where you've give up because it's easier. So like, you know, he won't sleep in his own bed because. You know, she'll put him in his own bed and he'll cry to come out and she'll go, right, get in my bed. Yeah, yeah. Me and my wife have sat there and 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 it's horrible, man. You, you have to sit there and put your little girl or boy mm. to bed and for about a week or two, listen to them cry yeah. and want to get in with you. And you have to, pers- it's horrible. It's like controlled crying, I think it's called. Yeah. It's like, it's horrible while you're doing it. And there's times where like I've nearly given up and gone in and, 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 and my wife's nearly given up and gone in. But... I'm so glad that we didn't now because it's like it, our little she's girl. So, well, yeah. I said last night to you, didn't I? I, I said to you, you, you that she's so well behaved. Like she when I when I got here, she was excited. She'd not seen me for a while. Mm. She was playing and, and having she's a big fun. fun. She's a big fan. You know, she's she seen, loved him again. She's, she's seen Kingsman, so she yeah, you know. And, and. <laughs> um, no, but she she was dead excitable. But then as soon as Andy said right bedtime, she just give me a cuddle and just went straight to bed. Exactly, yeah. and that's mint. Like like I, and and and. That's because we, what you see there is hard work. Yeah, like cool. that's what going back to what you say. Because this is a, yeah, you know, it's like training a puppy in a way, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. It, it, yeah, it is. It's exactly the same thing. It's a bit it's, more it's, expensive. It's, it's yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and don't leave like piss mats all around the house. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, no, but it is like, and you know, we we, I, I, and I wanted to come to this as well. Like we we're having kids. Um, we we've done things with her from an early age, like we we've took her to like swimming classes, yeah, yeah. um and and things like that, and that's in installed in like since she was like, I think we started her swimming classes when she was about three months something like that, yeah, getting confirmation again, yeah, mm. um and that's fine, mate. and um yeah we started swimming classes with her at, at about three months, so she's grown up literally every Thursday, going to somewhere where she's she's getting instructions and she's following instructions and it's kind of, I, I believe she's really smart, my little girl as well. Like mm. she's just dead clever. Mm. And I think that's, she that's is, why. She, yeah, she's... Um, what I was going to bring that anyway, it went off on a little tangent, but where I was going to bring that is, you know, having kids allows you to do stuff that mm. you couldn't do without them, which I think is worth having for as well. So like, you know, again, we go swimming every week. Yeah. Never go swimming every week as really? a grown up. I go swimming like every other day. You're dead into stuff like that though, aren't you? Like, yeah, but yeah, but you go to the gym. So you go to the gym and work out that. Like, we go and like play in the pool. Yeah, or of course. We'll go yeah. and watch but, but like would, would a Disney need... film at the pictures but where would, you'd look a bit weird. Me and Charlotte go to like that sort of thing. I watched Beauty and the Beast in London <clears> on my own. The new Beauty and the Beast, which is a Disney film. Oh, did you? Mm. Yeah, all right. Well, you know, um, but you, I, I know it's like saying, going on holidays, like, you know. Y- your, your idea of fun changes. Your whole much. idea of fun changes. Yeah, yeah, like you might enjoy going to the pub and going to the clubs with your mates, and that's like, wow, that's brilliant. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Whereas now you're going to the s- swimming <clears> with, <throat> with with your daughter, and you're going to the cinema, and that that's to you. You'll get in bed and think the same. Well, I really enjoyed last night. Or, you know, yeah, like, it's nice. Like we'll even you know changes. We're gonna have a walk around the Trafford Centre sometimes, and just take it to the Disney shop and see a little face light up as she looks at like. Woody and Buzz and all that, and, and <laughs> we it's can't afford nice. it. Walk away, yeah. walk away. <laughs> um, 
<laughs> yeah, just 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 window shop. We we're just we're trying to learn what window. This is shopping. a Disney store, but let's go to Smiths. Which can also a lot cheaper. <laughs> I'll get someone to rob you it. Uh, Smiths Smiths can also sponsor the show if you like. Um, no, but do you know what I mean? Like, did you did you find that with your with your little ones growing up? Like, did you did, did you get to then go and you know put them on a roller coaster and watch them scream and that? Like. <laughs> I remember taking Kieran on his. First ever roller coaster was the uh, the Big Dipper at Blackpool. What a and ride! What a ride! What a ride! But you know the bar that comes down. Yeah. Because I'm sat next to him, it stopped at my thighs. So yeah, he could just get out. So I had to hold him in. I don't even think for one second that there was one minute that I thought I'm gonna let go. Of <laughs> when we were going down the steep bit, I thought oh, I'd just say it was an accident. <laughs> <laughs> but. but, but I've, well, I'm, I'm going to do I'm glad you're not behind that. <laughs> <laughs> no, it, 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 no, absolutely. It was it was dead nice to to, to see him. Yeah. have a laugh. You get enjoyment like from their enjoyment. Yeah, of course, I but yeah. but I could have done that with my nephew. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Do you know what I mean? I, I don't. The whole stigma of you've got to have kids. I don't. That's what I don't yeah. get. Yeah, going back to like I said before, like I think I think society is changing now where it's getting more understandable mm-hmm. that people don't want to have kids because there's a lot of debate now where um, some some women and indeed men um, want to get, um, get un, un- sterilised it? Sterilised, right. get sterilised. Yeah, get sterilised. Yeah. Um, and, and, and some, I think there was a big thing in, in the media a couple of years ago where um, this girl had been told no by a, by a doctor. This, this This woman had been told no, like, we're not we can't do that because because you might change your mind you're only mm. in your 20s and by the time you get to your 30s or 40s you might want children so no fair or unfair unfair it's, how, it's their how, choice how you you can't play god with someone else's life 100 percent. yeah it's their it's their choice of course mm. it is it's their decision but in I a mean, way it is almost <clears throat> thoughtful in a way like yeah because i know you're taking away an option you take yeah yeah yeah, exactly. But I mean, if she's I walked in and said, I, want, "I don't want, I don't ever want kids," and he's gone, "Well, yeah, but you might." Yeah, because things you, you things change. Things change. If if she's set in her ways that she never ever wants a child, and he mm. says, "Well, I'm not going to do that operation just in case." Yeah. No. If she wants it doing, she and wants then it she's doing. got her right to do it. Yeah, hundred percent. And and you know, and 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 if if a man wants going, but I do, I kind of, I. I fully up for that I fully believe that but then I have got friends like I've got a mate who all my all my life knowing him as, as a youngster and that always said he doesn't want children I've got two mates actually mm. who've always said kids just aren't for them they don't want kids don't want them one of them's got a little girl now mm. and he absolutely loves her he, yeah. he he's such a good dad he dotes on her the other one is nearing 30, is settling down with a girl and they're talking about it now. Right, right. Had they had they made that... Irre- That's what irre- Is it irreversible for men? I don't know. No, you can, the, the, no, you can reverse it for men. What, yeah. But do you know what I mean? Had they, had they been, been, been women and had made that decision back then, would they regret it? But then I guess it's like anything in life. If yeah, you think, I, I think... You've I, got I to learn, you've got to make decisions, you know. You, I think I agree with the doctor, I think. Yeah, 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 hundred. Oh, you yeah, agree not, with doctor? I think so. Yeah, I'm not saying you're wrong. People change. <clears throat> people do change their mind, and I think there is ways now you can that you can get the. Is it the implant? Is mm-hmm. it an implant? Or yeah, 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 yeah. Again, we're all looking to um, to, to your wife for this. <laughs> so much thing. It's like an implant you can get in there where it stops you from getting pregnant. Yeah, 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 yeah for like three. So years. you just get that for three years. And yeah. Then see how you feel in another three years. I mean, as well as that yeah, though, yeah, yeah. there's you know. As I, as I said earlier, you know, we live in a world now that's like vastly, vastly overpopulated. There's something like, there's something like 10 there's, million orphans born a year. There's 1.5 billion you not, people in China. If you, if you make that, if you make that decision, I think you need, you, you know, you, 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 and you change your mind. I, you know, look at adoption. There's yeah. other ways of having but a child always that, that that is better for Definitely. for for the, the world as a whole. Yeah, and the environment <laughs> is better. Yeah. The environment. Um, I've always I've always said to, to 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 my wife like I'd love I'd absolutely love to have say you know two kids of our own, and then as they're slightly older, I'd love to adopt a kid mm. because I just think it's like the most. How do you feel about that? 
We've we've always we've discussed it a little bit, haven't we, in the past. Face. She's not. She's sort of smiling. <laughs> but you, yeah, my wife works with kids, so she 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 loves kids as well, don't you, babe? Just pinch one from there. Just pinch yeah, one. Just take one. <laughs> um, so, but yeah, so you know that's that's an option. Adoption. There's, there's, it rhymes as well, so it's, it's worth doing. <laughs> <laughs> you dealt it. <laughs> um, but yeah, bringing it back then, obviously, you know, you, your subject um, is his point two of why we were laughing at your subject. Um, point one was that you had kids. Yeah. <laughs> um, point two of us laughing at the fact that you chose this subject was you have now made a career. Yeah. Out of impersonating a fucking kid, yeah. <laughs> like so, by yeah. accident. By accident. Yeah, so how did how did Tiny Tim come about? Yeah, this is we don't normally do this on podcasts, but I mean, I'm genuinely interested. Yeah, so yeah. It's I don't care what the listeners for, are. Cause, yeah, I guess <laughs> <laughs> we were saying this last night when we were like, you know, we don't we don't want this podcast to be about people's careers or where you know where mm. you, why why you got into acting or dancing or singing or whatever you do, you know. But for us. And I guess for a lot of people listening, the idea of a YouTuber mm. or, 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 or a viral star is so fresh and so new. It's like someone said to because because I do a little bit of work for for Unilab, and um, when I first started there, like I just couldn't understand it. I was like, what? Yeah. What? You know, I don't get it. I don't get it. But someone said to me like, YouTubers are the rock stars now of the age. Like it's... if you look at the sixties, you had the Beatles. Like people like. Oh, rock music. Oh no, but the kids loved it. Yeah. Teenagers and they jumped on it. And it's happening now with 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 YouTubers it, like it, yourself. It, YouTube YouTube is <clears throat> I fell into it. Yeah. That, that, I'll start from the beginning. I fell into the, the I've always been able to do the voice. Yeah. Always just always been able to do the voice. And when Kieran was a baby, um it'd be in his bouncer, just watching Tally. And then I'd be like, Kieran. Kieran, and he'd be looking about, looking for his dad's voice, and laughing his head off. <laughs> I'd go, Kieran, he'd be looking about, and then I'd just go, Kieran! <laughs> and the, the shock on his face, he'd be like, what the hell is that? <laughs> <laughs> like he's hearing voices, do you know what I mean? I, I, I won't go, no, I'm only joking, it's only me. But it, that happened every every day for years, yeah. years and years, and he'd, he'd get a bit older, be like, Kieran! He was like, oh, it's weird. <laughs> and then, it, like when he started school, he'd be like, see you later, Kieran. <laughs> Bye, Kieran. <laughs> and he'd be looking about as if he was proper hearing voices. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> and then, as he got a bit older, he'd be like, Kieran. He'd go, Kieran. He'd go, oh, Dad, is that you? It's not me, mate. It's, like, it's not me. And then he got a bit older, he'd be like, Kieran. No, that is definitely you. I can see your mouth moving. It's not me, mate. It's not me. <laughs> so for years and years and years, I had him convinced that he was hearing yeah, voices. Voice. Nice. Oh, poor kid. He's fucking brilliant. So, so you when... should have breed. <laughs> <laughs> I know! Well, he, he got 500 That's why I'm pounds. here. <laughs> <laughs> I got 500 quid for him. Um, so when he's, when he's gone into school, um, I'm, I'm like, Kidding. he, he doesn't know if it's me or not. I should have told the school that he's not actually hearing voices. I should have told him. I should have told him. Definitely should have told him. But it was worth the six years. It's been sectioned now. <laughs> it was worth the six years of psychological profiling. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Give him something to do. It's cheaper than swimming. The school, <laughs> the school pay for it. Do you know what I mean? But, the, but when, when, as we as we got older, obviously he, he, he knew it was me. He realised it was me. And then... I, I, about 10 years ago um, I start, well, 11 years ago I started doing stand-up comedy I had no material at all didn't know how to write I didn't know what was and I, I just thought I'm going to do it so we went to the Frog and Bucket and we watched a show and all my mates were saying oh, God, I'm, I'm pretty funny I'm pretty funny um, and all my mates were saying oh, I bet you can do stand-up I bet you can do stand-up so, as a bet I said yeah I bet I will Anyway, a couple of weeks after I started, I, I rang the Frog and Bucket and said, can I do a stand-up? Can I or, like, do a show? And they were like, yeah, yeah, you can do five minutes. Anyway, I invited all my mates. We went and did it. I got on stage with nothing, absolutely nothing. I just did the voice. Yeah. I just did the voice. How did it go down? Really well. Did it? <laughs> yeah, beat the frog. Uh, it's competition, beat the frog. Yeah. Um, like, did it, and I was like... Well, I you have to... What, so what, what did you... Was you just telling stories about... 
Just yeah, just, just that story that you just told. Yeah. Just, I was at the time. I, I well, I was talking about being in the army. Yeah, which I hated went a well. Oh yeah, he was in the army. Yeah, went a well after about four months, five months or something. Yeah. Anyway, I, I was just I went on stage talking about the, being in the army, but with that voice. <laughs> I'm gonna shoot people. <laughs> and that's 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 all it was. And then with. I got the taste for comedy then and thought it's a bit easy and then did it again and again that's the and thing if you again. find somebody that you when you finish work after that and you go well that was easy like yeah. that, that that's when I think you know you've found something that you, you're supposed yeah. to do I, did, I, mean. I, I loved yeah. it and I just I got bitten by the, the comedy bug and I, I encourage anyone who wants to do comedy to go and do comedy you, yeah. you've got to do it just yeah. for, it's like anything like oh, you've got to do it if you, if you think that you might be good at something like I think you should go and try it like yeah. Yeah, the only it. person that's stopping you from doing something that you want to do is yourself of course it is do you yeah. know what yeah. I mean you should just yeah. go and do it like I never thought I'd be an actor when I, when Shane was auditioning for this thing, and mm. I went and did it, and lo and behold, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. it's it's just only yourself that's stopping you, isn't it? But you, you thought you were just going to get that fiver, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Just, yeah. It, it's it, if you don't you don't want to be the person that says what if. Mm. Yeah, exactly. You, you want to be the person that said I did. I don't want yeah, to be on my I mean. deathbed going, oh, fuck, I should have done that. Yeah. Why didn't I do that? And I'm, just, I mean, I, I've had this chat with you in the past. Like I've, I, I grew up. I always wanted to be a stand up. Yeah, yeah, and. I did. You? I, yeah, yeah, that's yeah, that literally made like I, yeah. I I kick myself all the time for not doing it because I think I could like I genuinely think I because I, I I write comedy anyway that's like my job at Unilab pretty much and um, you know you, you can adapt start scripted stuff to, to stand up and that quite easily and stuff. You and you've got so much you, you can work with. Exactly, exactly. I think I did a course when I was like nineteen. We were talking mm. about this the other day, yeah. one and I was like, I did this course when I was like 18, 19. It was just before we filmed 86. Um and I was thinking, oh yeah, I'll do it like whatever. I just didn't have that much to write about. But now, through having things like having children yeah. and stuff like that, like life through through living life, yeah, there's experience, you know. Yeah. I, I sat down a couple of months ago to write stuff and and and, and a lot of the stuff that I wrote was like about a trip to Amsterdam that I had with my wife yeah, like yeah. a year ago. So, mm. um, it, you know, little little things that you that you that you do in your life. It, I guess it stems from that, and like you say, the character the, the, that you well, created stems from yeah. having kids. Well, the, well, the character, the, the voice that that's just always been something I could do. Yeah, do you know what I mean? When I did, when I did the Frog and Bucket, I think everyone's career has started at the Frog and Bucket <laughs> or the comedy store. One of them too. Yeah. Um, as a northern comedian, as definitely. A northern, yeah. the, even if you're no matter where you are. Oh, right. Okay, yeah, all right. Because you, you, you've got the Comedy Store of London, Comedy Store yes, of Manchester. Course, yeah. They do something called King Gong. Yeah, um, yeah. Brutal. But the Frog and Bucket do something similar. That's Beat the Frog. Beat the Frog on a Monday. I think that's where everyone's... So that's where things. you've got a... Because I've been to one of them. It's where you've got a, you've got to get on stage. Three people in the audience have a gong or... Like, like a, a card. A card. If three cards go up... You, you get off. You, you get kicked off. So basically people that... So you've got five minutes... People might get up and last a minute. It's pretty brutal. Yeah, and the so only like, yes, yeah. yeah, it's boring. We get off. So it's good. It's good. Guess a good way to learn. It is, and it, it, of course, it's a it, <clears throat> it's a massive learning curve. And you know, it, it, once you've once you've beat the frog, you you do get that. Oh my god, I can do this. Yeah. So you find other other venues. Uh, you you start speaking to other comedians. You get introduced to other promoters. You start doing more shows, do you know what I mean? Yeah. I remember doing, I think it was my third ever gig. I did uh, did a gig at the Circle Club in mm. town. It's not there anymore. But it was called No Smoking Comedy Zone because this was back in the day when you could smoke in pubs. Yeah. And I did a gig at the No Smoking Comedy Zone. Again, I didn't have any material. Just went on, told a joke, just fell on deaf ears. And then I started doing the voice and there was two girls in the front row sat on the leather couch, did the voice, and they were wetting themselves. And yeah. I was like, It's a good job, that's leather. You can just wipe it clean. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I mean? And that just got a massive, massive Yeah. It's reaction. great. And, and then, so, because I first, before I met you, I first heard of you through my wife and... Um, Playing what have me, you been telling <laughs> <laughs> playing me, on Facebook. <laughs> playing me YouTube videos from like this was what six, seven years ago. Mm. Um playing me YouTube videos of Tiny Tim from when you used to do it on the radio yeah. on Key 103. Yeah, I got picked up at that no smoking comedy zone. Justin Morehouse was there. Yeah. He's he's come backstage and he's gone, Where the hell have you been? 
Oh, um, sick. What do you mean? He went, that voice is unreal. Come to the studio in the morning. We'll see what we can do. Anyway, he was, just started doing... Prank calls. It's calls literally like... The, it, that. That's what I find <clears throat> so amazing. Like, you can just be at the right place at the right time. Yeah. And that's it. Yeah, yeah, definitely. If I never walked around that corner that day and saw all these castings going on, we won't be sat here. Yeah. If you never did that gig, and, yeah. and is it Justin Morehouse? Justin Morehouse. Yeah, if he won't there, you know, it's, it's amazing how mm. that one little, that one decision could have just completely changed your life. If I didn't If you eat. turned around and said, oh, I'm not going tonight, I'm just going to chill. Yeah. That, that might not have happened, do you know what I mean? You, you've got to put yourself in opportunities where yeah. it may happen. Because if there's an opportunity where it may happen, there's an opportunity that it can happen. Yeah, of course. Yeah, 100%. So, I mean, you've got to put yourself in the firing line. Yeah for that to hit yeah. you and get get the opportunity that and there is times where you think yeah, there is times where you think oh I'm not good enough or it might not happen it's not going to don't happen to people like me you, you know I mean I grew up thinking that and, and when they said to me like oh we, you know we're casting for this film I straight away I was like you're casting for as if, mm. as if I'm going to be putting a yeah, film yeah, which doubting. is why I turned around and said well if, you, if you're having my time then I want some money for this yeah, like because yeah. you're not going to I'm not going to don't happen to people like me which is what I grew up mm. thinking, and now like I, I've recently just been. Ca- I, I was on the casting team for um for a short film locally in Grimsby, mm. and there was loads of kids there, and they was all, all saying the same like yeah, yeah. it don't happen. But I was saying to them, I'm so glad that you've come, yeah. Because even if even if you don't get chosen for this, if you get the taste of it, you can then yeah. go to other drama classes and any other casting things that might come along. Yeah. And there will be something out there that you write for. Do you know what I mean? There's no. It's always something. Always something always. for someone. The, 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 whatever it is, there's there's something mm. always. When when I went to Key One Hundred Three to do a couple of recordings, I was sat. Do you remember Travis McCourty? Yeah, Jim yeah. Passero. Yeah. Yeah, 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 sat next to him. Oh right. I wow. never thought I'd meet him. No. Do you know what I mean? That's Just me. I mean, what a tower of a man he was. Really. Oh, what a t- yeah, tall wise. Yeah, wow. Yeah, big oh, wow. Uh, what do you say to someone that you? Yeah. Never th- I went, oh, love your work. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I've heard yeah. one song, mate. <laughs> that everyone else, love your work. Massive fan. Big, big, big fan. fan. Follow you all over. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, uh, I shouldn't be here. But, uh, but, but, I but uh, no, that's it. I, yeah. should, I shouldn't be here, but yeah. I am. Do yeah, you know it's, it's a great, it's a, it's a mad feeling because I'm similar to, to both of you, really. Like, me and Tim come from the same town. Mm-hmm. Obviously, Tom, you're from quite a similar sort of town and, and that. And like, you do, you think, oh, that's never going to happen to me. Like, there was a lad in my school who, a couple of years, well, about five years or so, over, and he he, he, he was in a film, mm. uh, Lewis McKenzie, oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Jimmy Grimble, Jimmy. wasn't it? And, like, I remember looking at him going, oh, oh it's happened to him, so it's never going to happen to anyone else from around here. But, you know, like you say, put yourself out there, put yourself in them places. If you don't buy a ticket, you don't win the raffle. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, absolutely. You know what I mean? And it's one, one of them. Absolutely. One thing, like, obviously, you know, what's what's different about how you've done it as well is literally putting yourself out there like you know like yeah. like get creative make make your own video because I remember yeah. like say Emily my wife had shown me the videos that you'd done back in the day and you put them on YouTube and yeah, that yeah. and I remember having a chat with you in the pub and you were like oh yeah I'm going to start doing like videos again and that like mm-hmm. with the voice and I was like that's mint man that's a fucking great idea Yeah. and then you told me about yeah I'm thinking of like ringing in sick for yeah. school and I was like that will <laughs> absolutely break the internet and it did it and was it, it such really, a genius idea like it was I was sat out I wanted more work out of comedy yeah yeah because yeah. there's like thousands of comedians yeah. it's a big big all, overfilled yeah, pond all trying to do the same job in the same venues yeah it, it, it's difficult so I, I said to my missus I, I'm, I'm going to do a tiny I'm going to do a tiny Tim Cole I'm going to ring in sick at school see how it goes if it gets a thousand views I'm absolutely it's a thousand present. more people who if a promoter sees it and goes yeah that's pretty funny let's book him yeah then that's that's the job done mm. that's that's my aim just to get out and try and get more work anyway we did the video edited it there's, there's no it, it was such an amateur it's still dead amateur but that's why the way that's it's why it's so you know? good and when I edited it because what you see is seven minutes of just absolute pure genius by myself <laughs> <'cause it is. laughs> what you don't see is the other 43 minutes where social services and the police got involved oh my god uh, I didn't want for one the number <laughs> 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 so I've got I've got people that I didn't want knocking on my door 
Yeah. We've got police looking in the house because they were saying that there's a mistreated child with a with a mum upstairs. I never said that my mum's asleep. I just said my mum's in bed, the lazy pig. They thought she was dead. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? So we've had to... <laughs> I had to edit it out for legal reasons. <laughs> yeah, of course. But when we when we put it on, I was going out for drinks that night and I was drinking. Um, put the put the, the call on, put the video on uh, Facebook and I thought if it gets a thousand views, it'd be yeah. My phone didn't stop lighting up. Really? Just didn't stop. Smart, I, I, I think it? I went out, I was on 100%. By an hour later, I think it was on like 12%. That's, my phone just didn't turn off. Yeah. Anyway, we've had drinks. Got well, you put in. your fucking phone down, Tim. Oh, no, that's, I, I put it in. I put it in her bag because it was just it was just lighting up. Got home, you know, when you get up the morning after the night before, you go for a poo. You get your phone out. You're having a look, and we were on fifty three thousand views. Jesus, it was about eight nine hours after we and, put the video on. Wow, and it, honest to God, it was. 24 hours after, exactly 24 hours after, it was on 1.3 million views. That's amazing. Oh, my God. From a, from a, from a, from a like you say, like a, a page that, you know, how many followers did you have? We had about two, 300 and round then figures. how many have you got now? 1.9. Jesus. Million. Like, it's crazy. I was going to say, what, 1,000? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, million that's, million. that's... Wow. That's madness. And, and long may it continue, man, because it, yeah. it's, it's, it's such a mad concept... Like, it's really, isn't it? Like, you make videos, you put them online, and some you make a living. It's something that you've found that you're good at, and you've just shared it with people, and people enjoy it, so... I don't, but I'm in an industry that I've got no idea about. That's Mate, that's what makes it so fun. Yeah. Like, it's like, weird that you're this podcast, like, we're learning every day. Yeah. This got, might like, sound shit. I was with um, Rob Bryden. I'll just get that name that I've just dropped. Um, but I was working with Rob, and he's been in the industry years, and he's he's a novice, and he, he's he, not a novice, he's the master of the trade. He's brilliant yeah. with his impressions. But he, he said to me, he said, I, I'm not at my full capability. No. He said, I'm working. He, he, just, he just worked with Will Ferrell and John C. Riley, and he was like, exactly what my dad said to me. My dad said to me, when you're working with people like Rob Bryden, he said, sit back. Don't be gobby. Don't do this. Yeah. Just sit back and watch and you'll learn so much. Yeah. And Rob said exactly the same to me. Yeah. That he, he, when he was working with the likes of Will Ferrell, he was just taking it all in and he said, till the, till my last day of working, I will always be learning, which mm. is what's so exciting about our job. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. We play a lot of charity football as well. Yeah, yeah, you, yeah. You guys yeah, we play, played yeah, yeah. and met some amazing people. I'm, I'm friends with a lot of them now. Yeah. All, most of the Hollyoaks yeah. cast and... Um, you know, Dave. they're all fit in Hollyoaks as well, aren't they? Fit. Why are they all so fit? Oh, I'd be, f- I'd never make Hollyoaks. I'm like Emmerdale. I'm ugly, so I'd be Emmerdale yeah. in the field, yeah, in eating grass. <laughs> yeah, eating. All right, fuck off. Yeah. <laughs> um, but that's like I was saying earlier. Uh, this is now an industry that I've got no idea about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We did a proper profession professional recording where I've got like a white backdrop, really expensive camera, and the backlash. Yeah, the backlash that we got off that because it was well put together. People just did not like it. No, all. it's a strange world, isn't it? Because I, because I, I battled that with 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 working um, uh, producing at Unilad. Like, mm. um, I always try and make really high quality video and and and, and TV quality yeah. stuff, and and sometimes that that doesn't get the 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 response that you think it would. You know, people do. You know, yeah. any 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 time we put out like a sketch or that we've uh, like wrote, it produced, directed, spent spent you know weeks, sometimes mm. months working on, not 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 only months, sometimes weeks <laughs> working on. Um, you know, we'll put that out, but that you will you will beat that. We hands down, your video will go next, and people will just flock to it, and it's amazing to see yeah. because what it is 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 it's opening up, um. It's opening up create creativity for, for people to to create their own um, projects yeah, yeah, and and yeah. and you've open just got up world you're, you're literally like what what you and a lot of other people are doing are what they're, they're inspiring young kids yeah, thinking yeah. you have if passion we can, yeah if we can if we can get a little <clears> phone camera I know there's a couple of kids going around at the minute have you heard of the it's me fraz <laughs> now the young kids from Bradford are basically like the young estate kids. But they're, they're just being estate kids and they've clearly just got a phone and gone, yeah, mate, just record me stood against this garage. And what they've done, and they've got like 80,000 followers now, and they've got more followers than me on Instagram. I've been an actor for 15 years now. <laughs> they've been doing it for like for a, a month. 
but they've just blown up and yeah, now I mean, but it's brilliant that people like you but are you, inspiring you, young kids to go and do stuff like yeah, that yeah man it's a part it's, it's, they've got you know you've they've got passion for what they do and they mm. do it and people I think more than see what they're doing they see the passion that they have for it yeah, yeah. You know you, you, I mean? you've got to you've got to be platform. creative you've got to be creative if you think you've got something put it out there yeah yeah, 100% yeah if, you, if you're a singer if you're a musician if yeah. you're an actor whack it on Facebook fuck what it. everyone else thinks do it yeah. you, you can't there was a there was a comedian who, who said you can't please all the people all the time, just some of the people some of the time. You, Bob Marley, isn't it, I think? I don't know. You can't please some people sometimes, but you can't please all the people all the time. You see, when you say you've got to be creative, <laughs> definitely don't sing. <laughs> yeah, don't um, put that on Facebook. I Keep think, it yeah, I think I um, I we'll, 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 we'll draw it in there with, with my shit <laughs> finger. Cause, um, but but no, no, it, it, what an amazing is, note to end on as well. Yeah, like, yeah and it is, it is brilliant that... That what what you've done is inspiring young kids to, to just pick up a phone camera now, put a funny video on Do Facebook, it. and it can blow up so like you said so easily four hours fifty five thousand views or whatever. Yeah. And if yeah if you found something you're good at, then I think you should just. Do it. Just don't crack on. don't be nervous about other people's opinions. Yeah, yeah. And you get that a lot in in, in, in the online opinions, comments and man. stuff like that. People are very opinionated nowadays, and that's keyboard, that's amazing and terrible at the same time. People hate to see people do well, and it's a shame. Yeah, yeah. it is a shame. But really Tim, is. like say, mate, you know, I, I've known you for quite a few years now, oh, yeah. and I've seen your yeah. life change, and it's fucking amazing, and and I love watching your journey. And um, oh, if fun, you don't man. follow Tim on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter. Where, where are you, Tim? Where can people find you? Um, on them. Yeah, I need to know this as well. Please. <laughs> well, I'm here. <laughs> Shall I give you your address? Shall I give my address? <laughs> um, so, my Twitter is uh, Tiny Tim Adventures. If you just put in Tiny Tim, yeah, find yeah, you'll find yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Instagram, Tiny Tim dot Adventures. It's all t- just put so in it's Tiny, Tiny Tim, Tim Adventures. You'll, you'll find, find it. it. He's the one with all the millions of views and that. <laughs> um, but yeah, thanks for coming on, Tim and Jack. Yeah, thank us. you very much, man. And um, I hope you. I hope your kids aren't mentally scarred when they are. Yeah, bless them. I, I hope they are. <laughs> <laughs> thanks, mate. Thank you.